Today we're covering three of the most commonly asked questions we get about using the Onyx Hunt app. How do I turn on my layers? I'm not seeing anything on my map. If you look at my map here, it looks like a pretty basic map with some satellite imagery and some roads and towns on it. Not super helpful to me as a hunter. What I need to do is I need to go into my Hunt Map Layers button in the lower left hand corner. I'm in Montana, so I'm gonna go into the Montana folder. I'm gonna turn on my private lands, my government lands, and my hunting districts. That's just what I'm gonna turn on for right now. We have a bunch of different layers there, but for right now, those are the ones that I need. Now, if I zoom out a little bit, you can see my map looks totally different. I can see the green forest service, I can see the blue state land, and I can see the orange property boundary lines, as well as the property ownership information. Some other layers that are useful for you in there, one I always turn on, are the motorized roads and trails. If I go back to my map, I can see those purple roads that show me roads that are open to motor vehicle use. We have all kinds of different folders in there. Current conditions, where I can turn on the active wildfire layer. We're just coming into wildfire season here in Western Montana. That's gonna show me where those are. I can go into my land and access. It's gonna show me sections if I wanna see that wilderness areas, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service hunt areas, bunch of different layers in there. They're all grouped by folder. So if you're not seeing a layer and you think it should be in your state, maybe take a look at one of those other nationwide folders like current conditions, land and access, road trails and rec, trees, crops and cover, etc. Now, if you're an Onyx Elite user, you get access, of course, to all 50 states plus Canada. So that's something we also hear from people was, hey, I've got the elite, why don't I see information for all 50 states on there? So you don't want all 50 states turned on at one time, that's just a lot of data. But if you want to turn on an additional state, all you need to do is scroll down and you can see all 50 states listed there plus Canada. So let's say that I'm gonna go down to Mississippi. I scroll down to Mississippi, I tap that slider button, I can see it's moved up to the top. Now it's in my map layers alongside Montana and Wyoming. Now I can go in and turn those Mississippi layers on and off. So if you think you should be seeing something on your map that you're not seeing currently, take a look in the map layers. It's most likely you just have it turned off in there. Our second most commonly asked question is, all of this map information is great, but where I hunt, there's no cell service. I need to be able to use it where there's no service. We've got you covered with that as well. We have a section here in the lower left-hand corner for your offline maps. Now these are maps that you can download to your device so that when you don't have service, you still have all of that mapping information. To do that, I open up that tab, I tap the new map button, and now whatever is within this red box is what's gonna be downloaded. If I were to tap the save button, that's gonna kick off that download and it's gonna show with my other saved maps there. So if I open up this folder, you can see some maps that I have previously saved on here. I've got three of them. If I zoom my map out, you can see a green box. There's two of them on my map right now. Those are two maps that I have saved for when I don't have cell service. So if this were an actual hunt, I would park the truck, I would get out, I would go into offline mode, and then whatever's within those boxes is gonna be available for me to see. Be it the land ownership information, the satellite imagery, any trails that are there, the hunting district information. I'm still able to track myself because my phone's GPS doesn't work with cell towers. It connects to the satellites orbiting the earth. So that works even when I don't have service. That's why I'm able to see my location on there. It's why I'm able to mark waypoints and it's why I'm able to track myself, which leads into one of the other most common questions we get is, hey, how do I track myself? And am I able to use that to get out of the woods safely? One of my favorite features of the Onyx app is our tracker feature. In the lower right-hand corner, I'm gonna tap, tap this tracker button. If I hit the start button, you see my, re my blue dot turns red. That means the tracker is functioning. So if I were to start walking around or driving around, I'd see my dot moving across the map, and then I would see a blue dotted line following behind me. That is where I traveled. So what I will do, especially if I'm hunting a new area, is I will turn that tracker on. That way I can hunt all day. I can see where I went. Maybe I can tell, hey, this looks like a good spot. I didn't check it out yet. 
I know that my tracker line didn't go through it. I'm gonna go there. It gets to be the end of the day. Hey, I need to get home. I need to get back to the truck or back to camp. I know exactly the best route to get out there. Tracks are also savable, so you can use them for future reference. Great idea to run tracks to all of your deer stands or duck blinds, for example, so you can find your way in and out in the dark. If you have a friend that's coming hunting with you, hasn't been to a particular deer stand, for example, you can send them the track and say, hey, walk this track in so that you don't go through this swamp and get your feet, built, feet wet, or so you don't go through this deer bedding area and spook everything out. Okay, and again, that works while you're offline, just as well as it does when you're online. So when you're done, you tap that save button. Mine didn't, didn't show anything on the map here because I'm standing still, um, but you're able to save those and use them however you like into the future. So if you have any other questions or there's something you don't understand about using the Onyx app, feel free to hit us up, give our customer support a shout. We're happy to walk you through any questions you have.